All right, so again, I was uh, outside taking a walk. Um, I was at my son's house, actually, and uh, I found this. Um, and boy, does that look like a free spirit to me. Just feels like it. I'm sure you guys can see it. Maybe not, but you will in a minute. Let's take a look. Let's get this guy going. All right, so first I want to... I need to just double check, but I think... I'm seeing right in here, eyes, like here, right underneath this. This is all going to be hair. This is going to be a beard. So let's get started on this little guy. Hopefully you could see that uh, we already have a face and that that just didn't take us too long at all to do uh, this thing was already pretty much uh, in the shape that I wanted um, keep in mind when you guys are are doing your tree spirit that uh, get your nose to be in a spot that's already sticking out so you don't have to dig so deep find a corner like this would be a nice corner this one I just felt with the hair sticking down here, this looked even better. Um, also, another thing that a lot of power carvers, uh, even just regular carvers using knives, love to start out with tree spirits, and there's a good reason for it. They're simple. Uh, there's no um, there's no specific way they need to look. It's all in your mind. So whatever you do is right, and it's a great way to practice to get different different textures, different details. So practice away on these guys. It's it's free wood. Go find some, carve, and once you get these skills down, you can move on to bigger and better things as well. Okay, I am going to try now to go ahead and get some detail in where the eyes are and around the nose. This thing is not going to take us long at all to do, I promise you that. Well, I got some of these uh, these other details in. So now I'm going to go ahead with this uh, super pointy tip. I'm going to go ahead and get the eyebrows, or I'm sorry, the eyelid up here and the lower lid in here. Um, and then same for this side. I'm going to have to be careful. I just noticed there's this crack going down here. So I've got to be super careful with that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll, once I get those in, I may change bits again because this may be too sharp for in here, um, but I may need to come back to it. I'm not sure. Let's, let's see what we'll do here.
hopefully you can see down in there that I've got the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid, and then I got the eyeball in there. Uh, I've worked on the uh, on the lines under the eyes. I think this side needs to wrap a little more, maybe. I like to hold them sideways just to make sure that the profile looks good and it's rounded enough that it's not just a flat face. And this, this does start to seem rounded. I, I think what I will do, though, is take some of this down just, just to round it a little bit. He's getting there. I'm not going to be doing much. I'm not going to do anything up here. Uh, this hair is done as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the hair down on the sides are done. The beard's done. I just need to kind of uh, outline where his uh, mustache is and where his mouth is going to be. Put some eyeballs and nostrils in there, and I think we're just about finished. We'll have to clean him up a bit, but uh, we're good to go. I believe we're done. I am going to take my little uh, flap sander and kind of, you know, clean this up a little bit so that there aren't any rough edges because there's a lot of little pointy pieces on this. Uh, but we'll we'll call him done. And as I said, this is going to be quick. This is literally 30 minutes for me, uh, start to finish, not including the flap sanding on here. So let's go ahead and get that flap sanded and uh, call it a day. All right, my friends, this is what we have. Let me get a little bit better light here so you can kind of see him a little bit better. So there he is uh, in all his glory. He, I think he turned out really good. And this is, this is exactly how I pictured him when I saw it laying on the ground. Um, I love the hair. I love all of that stuff. And, and look at that. I didn't even do anything. That was just, that's just how it was. Um, when you're out walking, make sure you're looking for this kind of stuff. This is just, I don't know what it is. I have no clue what kind of wood this is. Um, it's harder than normal, so it's not like a pine. Um, 
but I'm happy. I'm very happy with this guy. See him? There he is, looking right at you. All right, you guys. Uh, all I have left to do is put some finish on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to even show that or not to you, uh, but very much appreciated. Um, I'm well over the 600 subscriber mark right now, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I am. I'm just uh, shocked at how how quickly it's jumped from the five to 600 uh, subscriber numbers. So thank you all so much. Uh, I have no idea where it's going to be when I post this video because this is going to be coming out in maybe two weeks from when I record it. But uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, keep asking questions. Uh, keep commenting. Um, go out and carve. Have yourself a good day. Thanks.